Hi guys, the Forex guy here, and through this channel, I will frequently share a lot of Forex contents. If you guys have the same interest as me in the Forex industry, make sure to hit that subscribe button guys, so you don't miss my upcoming videos. Alright, so this video is a tutorial on how to use MetaTrader on Android. I've already made a tutorial for MT5 on PC and iPhone and today it's Android's turn. For this MetaTrader 5 on Android, I'm breaking it down into three parts. Part 1, which is this video, will show you how to open an account and connect it to MetaTrader 5. Part 2 will cover how to customize the MT5 layout to make it easier for trading, including adding objects and indicators you need. And finally, in part 3, we will dive deep into how to actually make trades in MetaTrader. Since there are a ton of different entry types you can use in your trading strategy on MT5. I've put the sequence of the content in the description, so make sure to watch it in order from part 1 onwards. And I guarantee you will have a solid understanding of how to trade on MetaTrader 5 by the time you finish all the videos. Okay, let's start with part 1. So. To make buy and sell transactions in the forex market, we have to go through an intermediary called a forex broker. This broker's job is to send our buy or sell orders to the market. The first thing we need to do to start trading forex is to register a trading account with a broker. If you are a beginner and not sure which broker to choose, just follow my recommendation. As a trader who's been in the game since 2016, here's a good broker for you, Exynos. Exynos is one of the best for Forex broker with 15 years of experience. They are the pioneer of unlimited leverage feature which is pretty hard to find with other brokers. Their deposit and withdrawal are super fast, straight into your bank account in a very short time. Thin and stable spreads, fast execution, they offer many payments methods and support local payments in your country because Exynos currently operates in hundreds of countries. All account types are swap free and for those living in Muslim countries, the swap free feature will automatically apply to your account. Alhamdulillah. Their 24-7 multilingual support is always ready to help you with any issues you might have on Exynos. Exynos is one of the best brokers I've personally used for years. No need to think too much, just go ahead and sign up with Exynos guys. I'll put the registration link on the screen, fxguide.id slash Exynos. Follow the sign up steps that I'll explain to you. Click the registration link I provided in the description of this, of this video, then click the register button. Things to prepare before you registering is an active email and ID card. Alright, this is the form. First, fill in your nationality here. Enter your email here. Then create a password for login. For the password, make sure to comply with the following rules. Below that, there is a partner code section. You can just ignore it or if you want to fill it in, please use the following code. Once done, check the I declare section then click continue. A question appear whether use a demo account first or directly use real account. Let's try clicking the real account. If you encounter a pop-up to complete your profile, click complete button for account verification there are three steps of verification that need to be done which are email confirmation phone number and profile information please follow all the verification steps guys here is you will use id card for verification and make sure to complete until residential verification for residence verification you can use your id card if verification have not completed your account will have some limitation such as the number of withdrawal being limited and others that's why it's best to complete all verification first and up to this step you have successfully registered as a trader on Exynos. you can now start trading guys 
However, it's advisable to wait until all verification processes are completed. Next, to be able to make a transaction, you need to log in your trading account on Exynos to the trading platform. Alright, once your Exynos account is set up, download the MetaTrader 5 app from the Play Store. Type MetaTrader 5 and choose the app with this logo. Your MT5 login details are already in the Exynos personal area. Log in using the email you registered with to check your account details. They are logged in to a demo account so we can practice making transactions without risking any real money. To check the real account you've created, click the real tab on the left. You can add a new account, either demo or real. Through the new button, you are free to choose what type of trading account you want to open next. Here is the interface of MetaTrader 5. I haven't made any changes yet. So this is how it looks when you first open MT5 after installing it. It's in Indonesian because I downloaded it from Indonesia. Wait, I'll change it to English. To log in to your account, click the three line icon in the top left, then click get started, then click this plus button. Match the server with what's in your account details. I'm using the Exynos MT5 trial 6 server. Let's type Exynos in the search bar to find the server. You will see a few search results. Pick Exynos technologies. There is a drop down here and that's where you will find your server. Pick the one that matches your account details. Then enter your account number here. 1816476645. Enter the password you created when you registered. And now the trading account is successfully logged in to MT5. That's how to register a trading account and log in to MetaTrader 5. In the part 2 video, I'll show you how to customize the MetaTrader 5 layout and introduce you to the comments you can use to support your trading activities in MT5. Make sure to follow the order. Watch the videos in sequence. I've put part 2 in the description. Go ahead and continue learning.